Welcome to Museum Connect. In this project, the Wiltshire Museum, funded by the Wessex Museums Partnership, has been able to invite local artists to make a creative response to objects from our collections and to create these free video resources so that you can get creative, whether you can visit us at the moment or not. So here we are at the Out of Egypt exhibition at the Wiltshire Museum this summer and autumn 2020. The objects from this exhibition that have inspired today's Museum Connect video are a sandstone fragment bearing some hieroglyphics. It shows the cartouche of one of the Greek pharaohs, the Ptolemites, and is from the Temple of Karnak at Luxor. We also have a pottery disc which bears the name of Pharaoh Ramesses II. However, unfortunately, this one has been identified as a fake by experts at the British Museum. And now we hand over to the films made by our local artist, showing us how he can create and you can create inspired by hieroglyphics. Hello guys, my name is Matthew Dean. I'm a local artist from Salisbury. Uh, I have been asked very kindly by the Wiltshire Museum to come in and produce a piece of work inspired by the hieroglyphic alphabet behind me. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a bit of a blurred image. Uh, a lot of uh, what I do is abstract artwork and um, I've been asked to uh, produce a piece of work um, primarily in reaction to the exhibition they've got going on at the moment which all the details will be at the bottom there so um, do go online and take a look. Uh, there is also a little exercise at the end of this film for younger kids to take uh, part in uh, it shows you how to make your own hieroglyphic using sand so um, do have a look and please do give us your comments on the the uh, work that's been shown in this video Right, afternoon guys, um, welcome to a little one-on-one -on -one in regards to making your own raised relief hieroglyphic. This is very 
straightforward little art project for you. Um, first of all, you need a bit of card. You're going to need some string, need some PVA, and a brush. Um, but first of all, you need to find an image from the hieroglyphic alphabet that you can translate onto this. I've managed to get PVA absolutely everywhere. Uh, I have chosen a feather. So the first thing you need to do is draw it out. So this is this was actually used in the, the main piece of artwork I did. So you just get an adult or some or uh, to help you out with this, to make it life a bit easier. So you're going to draw out your feather. Okay. Very simple. Oh, you do need a pair of scissors for this as well. So, and a brush. A couple of things you might need. Make sure you get yourself a bit more organized than I am. So what you're going to do is you're going to use a brush and your PVA. And you're going to paint it onto the card. Okay. So over the drawing you've done, okay, so you're going to stick it out. Now PVA goes off in about 5-10 minutes, so you've got time to do this. So be quite liberal with it, you know, put lots on. Don't be, don't be worried um, about making a mess with this. This is the whole idea is by making a mess you can, the PVA will dry clear, so you, it will become transparent. Okay, so we're going to use some of this. I'm actually going to use a, a knife because I've got it here but I suggest using a, um, a pair of scissors. Okay so what we're going to do we're going to we're going to find the line and you're also going to put glue over the top of the string. Okay as I said it's a bit fiddly when you first get going but it's kind of great fun and you get really, really messy. So the idea is to make it follow the line of your drawing. Okay. Okay, the other way of doing this is actually putting putting it putting it in here. Like this. And running your finger through it. It's really sticky. Like so which I think is a bit more fun really. Okay. All right, can you see that? Okay, so I'm just going to speed everything up a bit on this front, so I'm not going to talk for a while. Some more PVA and what I'm going to do a bit much there I'm gonna add um, two things to it okay I'm gonna add some more yellow paint and I'm also gonna add some sand so this is really cool um, and what this is gonna do this is just try and find some fine stuff what this is gonna do is gonna, it's gonna add a really cool effect Okay, and we're going to kind of make it more textured by adding more paint into it. And we're going to paint over the yellow uh, to give a kind of a bit more of a sandy effect. So, 
yellow paint. Okay, so just gonna blob of that in. I'm gonna put a bit more sand in there. Okay. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna add that all together. Lightly go over the string. Black marker just brings it out and it starts looking more like a hieroglyph. Okay, there you go. An effective way of making your own hieroglyph with real sand. <laughs>